What's up? All right, check this out, man. I thought that y'all might want to see exactly um, how much product goes into one of these said products. Now, this right here is a thousand milligrams of LGD 4033. This little thing right here is a scooper that I obtained from a buddy. I don't even know where the hell you get this. But let me show you. You turn on, let me see if I can help you out here. That little phone box here. I got me a new, uh, what you're watching this on is a Note 10. The new one from Samsung or whatever. Anyway, alright, so check this out. So, as you see, or maybe you can see, if you can see my scales. Alright, that's point zero zero zero. Now, if we put a capsule on there, your capsule weighs point one two five, right? So what we're gonna do is we take that off so that it measures zero with said capsule. Okay, so we know now a capsule is balanced to L zero O. Now take open capsule. Now this is how much product actually goes in. So you want what ten milligrams of LGD, let's say max. Alright, so you got a max dosage of the 10 milligrams. So let's take the little bitty scooper and drop a little cocaine. No, I'm kidding. Um, see, white crystal and powder. This is how all um, chemicals in their raw structure are. They all come as a white crystalline powder. Now that capsule is bigger than that capsule, is it not? Let's get one of the same size. Ah, that's important. I don't know how I got two different size capsules. No, that's not here. All right, so let's just tear it one more time to be absolutely sure. So that's on zero with the capsule. I don't know if you can better assess that from. Anyway, hell. You get the idea, right? Okay, so now I'll take that, knock it off over here, take a little bit of powder, and that's going to be 21 milligrams. That's not what I need, right? So that was double what I intended to put in there. So you say, well, it ain't got no fillers or it's got fillers. That's how much product actually goes into one of these capsules. That's double the amount, by the way. So you've got capsule zero. All right. Now, just so you can get an idea here, you see zero. All right. Knock that off. Boom. You're a negative, what, 0.13, drop that on, you're at 0 0.016, that's 16 milligrams, right, of product there. So, whenever you're talking about, well, that product's got fillers in it. You gotta fill something with the rest of that capsule. If I'm going to mix it evenly in a big ass batch, right? If I got a big tub full of stuff that I'm mixing, and you want the even same amount, amount distributed into this size capsule, something has to fill the rest. So you mix it evenly, and you put this much in the capsule, and it should be on average that much per capsule now if you don't mix it well then you get higher milligrams in one lower milligrams in another that's bad so you've got to mix it completely 
and then you put it in there. Now you can put your fillers in, but your filler also has to be the same size granule or powder and the same weight as your product. That's gonna be important to get an even distribution. All right, that way you don't have 50 milligrams in one and zero in the next capsule. This is why we do assessments as to see not only the quality of the white crystal and powder that's put in there, but then we go further and go, all right, how much is in every capsule and is it consistent? Are they doing their quality control well? And I'm, do, I'm showing you this because right now I'm sending off companies to be tested and I'm assessing who has the best stuff. So when I'm in that process, this is how it works. And I'll call five, six, seven companies and go, hey, I need some product or I've already ordered some product usually. I'm going to have it tested. I'll get back with you. What I don't do is I don't out them right now. Um, when we have everything up to better than generic pharmaceutical standards, then I'll start calling the companies that aren't up to par and letting them know where they can get products so we can all be on the same page. Um, as long as there's a variance per capsule, then we're not getting our mixtures right. And like, sometimes I will permit a variance of that equivalent to a generic pharmaceuticals company's um, structure. What, I, what I'm wanting to do is get to the high standard of the pharmaceutical industry and then have everyone else come meet that standard. That's the goal right now. So anyway, I just thought y'all might want to know. So whenever people are talking like, well, they put fillers in that. You don't know what that is. You have to put a filler in there, dog. I don't care if it's MSM that you put in there because the rest of that, there ain't no way you can do that in every capsule and leave that much air in it. I mean, come on. You're smarter than this. So anyway, um, how much was that again? 16? Not for human consumption. Um, you know why you get capsules? All right. And this whole argument of, well, they're not going to see your, uh, you administering the liquid would be more believable to be administered to a research animal in a research environment. No, it's not. Nobody wants to do that every time. No scientist wants to go, let me measure point. Zero, zero, two, oh, in every dose. That is ridiculous. You get it standardized, measured out. It's easier to conduct your lab study with the understanding that every single one of these is right. Does that make sense? This is why you use capsules instead of liquid. Not to mention, if you're not going to use all your product in this study alone, your um, excuse me, your if you're not going to use all the product in this study alone, then your liquid starts to degrade within 90 days. A capsule has a two-year shelf life because it's dry. That's two years before that starts to degrade. That's why you use capsules and not liquid. It, it just makes sense, man. This is, how, this is why we do what we do. So they keep longer. You can do more scientific studies with that product. You got two years instead of 90 days before degradation begins. Just some ideas. Thought y'all might want to know. Neuroids.com. That's why you shop with us. Love y'all.